dying middle class in America in 2023? Is it dying? Yes, it is. That's that's a quick answer. It's dying. You know, middle class is somewhere between forty thousand to two hundred thousand, counting on what city. More most likely, middle class is between fifty thousand to one hundred and fifty thousand on average. I'm I'm not saying that other places like Seattle and New York is more expensive. They're probably like two hundred thousand. So, what are your choices if the middle class is dying? Well, is the middle class dying, or we're becoming more advanced as a society because minimum wage is minimum wage there's going to be a bigger gap in between middle class upper middle class and lower middle class why education you can't tell people for 20 30 years the millennials to go to college get a better degree make more money than your parents and then when they do it, they make news that, oh, the middle class is dying. No, some of these people are at the age that they're moving to upper middle class, according to the census. You know, if 150000 is upper middle class and you get two engineers together that went to college, well, you just lost two middle class people because now they're a family in the upper class. Now, let's look at the stats. Like, no one wants to talk about the stats on Merit and, and XYZ. Middle class, if I pull up the stats from, let me look, real quick. Where has the middle class gone by the eco? And it shows, it changes. Yes, middle class used to be bigger. It's shrinking. This is what the numbers say. But no one's talking about the increase in upper middle class income. There's a decrease in middle income, but increase in upper class in income. That makes sense. Because you're telling the millennials and new generation to go to college. Well, four years they go to college, five years they go to college, let's say eight years. And then they get out making 80, 90K, 70K. Yes, that makes sense. So is the middle class dying? Yes. Why? Yep, my number's right. If you're looking at these, just change it one minute. You see, in 2008, the incomes are going up. And what's causing is the median, you know, the, the middle class management, so our, like box stores, Walmart, XYZ, they still make good money. Don't get it wrong, but I don't think they're going to get like the engineering upper middle class income traditionally. Yep. Percent of children make more than their parents by age 30. Yeah. It's, we have to go to college. We have to go XYZ. They used to go out, be do trades, go to become a plumber. They make like sixty, seven thousand dollars The very first or second year. Now we get out, we have to Go to college four years, five years. Go do an internship. Go take these engineering tests. Go take these X Y Z tests to make the hundred thousand. So, yes, by the time we're in the thirties, it's just we waste so much time on education. Next article. Missing it, opportunity not. And here's. One that is more updated, January 2nd, 2023, and they run the numbers, and I'm going to tell you my opinion on it, and it might be an unlike opinion, but I'm going to be honest, with the crisis of the COVID and everyone getting better, better paying job because of the supply and demand, there's going to be a dramatic drop in middle class. Um... Because now you have these people, let's, let's use my town's example of Houston. Let's say the average person at the time for an engineer was making 130, but then they couldn't get anyone to replace it. Well, now they have to offer 150 to get the people. And if you look at the number for Houston, for example, the, the high-end middle income 
it's 142k and above. So if that's the case, and we have all these engineering firms needing to hire, and they start hiring at 80, 90k, and they hire a couple of people. Well, guess what happens? Now the family is making 160k. Another thing they don't take into account is married, unmarried, X, Y, Z. They found out people who are married with kids make more money overall because they have a combined income. And that's where we can't just look at numbers and stats and feel that, oh, it's dying. Well, why is it dying? It's dying because people who went to college with and got engineering nursing degrees and medical degrees and matter of fact just getting degrees itself gave them a better pay and then whenever they start getting the better pay because people from the previous generation were either dying out or retiring because of COVID so now they have more money to give these people to increase the salary now a lot of them probably did not make it through because they weren't worth the money they were asking for, but that's their problem. Don't overpromise with a company and not be able to deliver. So, back to the question Is middle class dying? Yes. Is it for the good? It determines. Um, the only solution I can see to this is, to be honest, is to pay the middle class more. Well, if you pay the middle class more, it costs things that cost more. So it's a very fine line and I don't like to get in political about it. I just look at the stats and I read it and it looks like the reason why it's going extinct in my opinion. I'm not a professional um, financial advisor. I, I'm just some dude that looks at the market, studies markets and some dude random dude off of YouTube. So if you take my advice too serious you might want to go talk to a financial advisor before you make any decision. Now after that jargon, let's let's really think about it, you know, that they're outsourcing and then they found out outsourcing wasn't going well, so they had to hire people back in the It's a, a roller coaster for hiring and firing. You just have to pick the right time and meet the right requirement to get these higher paying jobs. Um, people are retiring. You are okay. You might need an education and... I believe the middle class is going to keep dying out. Um, there's nothing we can do about it until we fix the foundation of what people want to be in America. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Everyone seems to want to be an influencer without having life experience. I don't believe anyone should be an influencer unless they got some life experience. Show me that you deserve to be an influencer, not some person on YouTube that using daddy money or mommy's money to get famous there's plenty of articles out there that, pe that youtubers will pay all this money to look famous and they're not really famous this is some broke dude in suburban somewhere so y'all don't believe everything on the internet too do your own research like and subscribe later